Hello, and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. This is Julie, and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two-minute art tip. And today, we're gonna be talking about exercising your creative muscles, man. Now, honestly, I don't blame you if you're looking and saying, Julie, I love you, but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna take exercise advice from you. And I totally get that, and it's fine. I, it doesn't bother me a bit. However, exercise and creativity is one of those things that I'm kind of used to. You should probably perk up and listen. All right. So one of the things about creativity is it's like energy. It has no beginning. It has no end. It doesn't diminish. It actually just kind of goes to sleep a little bit. It's always at work in your mind happening behind the scenes, whether you're conscious of it or not. The important thing to do is that like any muscle in your body, it becomes more vibrant the more that it's used and your creativity needs to be exercised every day. So some important things you can do to kind of make your creativity a vibrant part of who you are is stay curious. Don't just kind of hovel in one subject area or one media and just kind of sit there and get comfortable. Art isn't about being comfortable, folks. Art is about being embarrassed and uncomfortable um, and like not knowing what you're doing and just stumbling around sometimes and that's fine. That's the whole point of it sometimes. Some days it feels like that. That's all an important part of the process. It's good for you to kind of be uncomfortable sometimes. Learn new things, learn new things all the time, whether it's new techniques, new materials, make sure that you find some source of information where you can learn about some new stuff. There's tons of stuff all over the Cheap Joe's channel. We have thousands of hours of free instruction, not only from me, but all kinds of crazy interesting people who are fascinating and wonderful and have all kinds of interesting things to share with you totally for free. Make sure that you're spending time like being curious, go outside, take a hike, meet some new people, find some new artist friends, find out how they work. All of those things can be wonderful for you. And then also lastly, it seems kind of unrelated, but also when I say stay curious, I don't mean just about your art. I mean other things too. I like watching documentaries. I'm kind of a dork that way. Um, I like watching stuff about undersea exploration. Um, I love the water, and so anything under the water is interesting to me too. Um, but that's just me. I like uh, knowing stuff about the human body. I think it's fascinating. You know, all those kinds of, you know, seemingly unrelated areas can contribute to your art. Sometimes I'll be watching a documentary and a, a, a composition will actually like flood into my head. I don't know why. It's just a thing. So find the things that, that are triggers for you, the things that kind of inspire curiosity, um, things that make you fill up with wonder. Those are the kinds of ways to exercise that the curiosity and the creativity inside your brain and uh, make sure to do it as often as possible. We are sure that you will enjoy.